So today we're having a little bit of a uh, play saddle tramping, only a short distance. We're off to a local area where we can put the corral out and have a bacon butty. And Bev is in charge of the catering. This is this is one one practice that we do. Um, we're getting all the kit ready for our first sojourn into the yeah the wider Peak District. So we're getting all the kit together. We're getting the horses used to being in corrals, um, carrying their um, all the kit, obviously, and then obviously deploying the kit as well, so that gets us into a yeah, a routine as well. Hello! <laughs> We're going to have a bacon butty in a bit, so happy days. Come on, Gib. <laughs> We're lucky that we've got some nice areas to, to hack around. We've got Hanley and Stoke over in that sort of area over there which is is cracking view on a day like today and then we've got if you if you carry on across to to the right and over the back there we've got the start of uh, the peak district yeah. but uh, all around all around this sort of area we've got these like nice little tracks to 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 practice on and it's a, it's a lovely day today as well we've got hand church and what have you the hand church woods over that sort of direction uh, that's Newcastle way. That's right, isn't it? Yeah, we've got Biddle Moor as well, is it? Yeah. Blackshaw Moor. Yeah. That shirey one. Shall we plug them here then?
So there we go. We have the corral sorted out, at least uh, roughed out. Each of the corners have got guy ropes. So it's only for the corners. Yeah, these have been measured out as uh, 12 by 12 meters. You know, and obviously we can fine tune if needs be. I haven't put the, uh, the electric fence on today because like obviously we're with the horses and they do respect fire wire. Yeah, they're quite happily munching. The only reason I've taken Jody's uh, saddle off because her saddle pad is, is kind of moving a little bit so I'm going to have to adjust that. So rather than leave everything on, I've taken it off and then readjust it when I uh, get her sorted. I'm going to deploy the uh, electric fence but not, not turn it on just to so we get used to the process. Okay, all these uh, have been, well, the, all these uh, legs are bank sticks for fishing. And the, uh, this, I took the idea off a, uh, a crab line. You know, I might have to do a bit of adjustment, but it's really good to you know, keep everything on there with a bit, a bit of elastic across it. And uh, this is the gate. You know, obviously, you know, we can get them in and out if, if required. I'll get all the good jobs. I'll get forced to go out to the horses and swat horse flies. And it looks like I'm beating the horses up. But I'm sure they don't mind. It keeps the flies away. Yeah, I found my true vocation in life. Yes. Hey, old fella. So today we've got the tiny little gas canister and the tiny little stove. It's really nice, fits in a nice little package for carrying. Easy to install onto the canister. Save the top in there. You just twist her on. Like so. Making sure she's fairly tight so you've got a good seal. And then you can just move the little holders around. Some really handy flat pack plastic containers, BPA free, that carry 0.7 litres of water. One of these is enough to make two mugs. I might have to angle your camera down just to yeah. That's it. Have a brew. Got a bit of grass in this one, you're getting a bit of fibre. We both have a tin mug each and we make coffee bombs. Steph takes sugar, that's why his looks a lot bigger than mine. I don't take sugar because I'm sweet enough. This is excited of watching is. bubbles. Oh, I think bubbles. I think that'll be oh, wrong way. I think that'll be hot enough for a coffee. Excellent. Do you not think? I love it already. Now, in the previous picture that Steph sent me, he said his mug was tiny and mine was large. This one is Stefan's mug. 
this one is mine. So he was telling a little porky pie. Plan today is also to have a bacon button. So we're going to see how that pans out. This is very, very strange to do. It's quite enjoyable though, with your little horses munching away. Yes, look at that. I hadn't told Steph this, but he's doing the washing up. <laughs> look at the pan. <laughs> this is my bacon sandwich. My dad's touching it. Come here, flower. Come here. Good girl. Come to me. Good girl. And as per usual, like my friend Dave says, leave no trace. Ta da! <laughs> Except a flattened square of grass where the horses have munched. Yes. A word from the master. Leave no, no trace. trace. Well, actually, it's leave no. <laughs> That's what Dave says. <laughs> leave no. Good lad. 